So today I'm going to show you how to draw a clownfish and we're also going to add like a sea anemone in between the background and kind of underneath him as if he's swimming through it. So I have my colored finished one that I usually do with my seventh graders. I have my how to draw worksheet that I just photocopied out of a how to draw book and then I have my drawing paper. So you want to make sure that your paper is going the right direction because this fish is longer than it is tall. We want to make sure that your project paper is going landscape style, which means it's longer at the top than what it is on the sides. So make sure your paper is going the right direction. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this step by step to get those shapes and just start turning basic shapes into a clownfish. So how we're going to start off with is the main bulk of the fish. So the main part of the body is this oval shape right here. So I'm not talking about the tail or the fins, but this oval shape here. And we want to make sure that, you know, we put it kind of off towards the middle or to the right. We don't want to make it all the way to the left because we have to have room to put that tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to draw an oval shape and I'm just going to start to draw it up. It's almost going to be like a football shape too. I'm going to start to bring it back down, make it come around for the bottom part of the fish. It's really important that when you're drawing these to draw lightly, that way it's easier to erase if you make a mistake. If you draw really dark to begin with and you don't like what you've drawn, it's really hard to erase a darkened line. Okay? And that's, I mean, it's a little off right here, but you can go back in, just kind of round that off. Now, what we're going to do is they have a big eyeball up here. And their eyeball is basically going to be a big circle. Then a, another circle inside. So this little circle is the one that they can actually see out of. And then this one is just kind of like the part around it that moves the eye so that the fish can see what's around it. Um, here, towards the right side of our football shape that we've drawn, we're going to draw the mouth. So we're going to kind of start here, do like a lip. So create an upper lip. It's almost like a heart shape on its side. There's for the upper lip. We're going to kind of draw this down and come back around for the bottom part. And then where my oval is overlapping there, just kind of go back in and lightly erase those lines. And then as we kind of look at pictures of fish and stuff like that, you'll notice that they've got a lot of fins. They've got two up here at the top. They've got two down here at the bottom. They also have one here in the, the center part. Okay, so if we think about, well, here's the eyeball. Here's about the center of our fish. So back behind the eyeball just a little bit. I'm just going to draw kind of like a long C shape or just a curved line. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes up straight the top of the fin. I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes down. Kind of add a diagonal there for the bottom of the fin. Then I'm going to connect it with a curved line. And that's going to be the, the center fin for our clownfish here. They also have one up here near the top. So it's going to start at the top of our oval, and we're going to start to make it go up, almost like a shark fin, and then round it back down towards the back of the body. And I'm going to imagine, because they have a bottom fin, kind of in the same lineup, so I can lightly draw a line that kind of comes down about where that's going to be. I can do the same thing for this side too. Just make sure those are drawn lightly so that you can erase them later. 
then I'm going to draw the bottom fin here. So it's going to kind of come down and around towards the bottom and the back of our fish and make this connect here. So now we've got that fin. And really, I don't need these lines anymore, so I can go back in and erase those. Kind of clean them up a little bit. The same thing for this one. Now, before we do the other set of fins that are behind here, we'll go ahead and do the tail. So the tail is going to start about right here. It's going to start to come down almost like a U shape. It's going to come back up, go up towards the top left corner of my paper. I just kind of lightly drew it, and then because I like that shape, I'm going to go back in and darken it up. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. So imagine about where it would start down here. This is going to be, you know, the still curved line. It's not going to be a U shape because it's going to curve the other direction for this. It's going to start to curve down towards the bottom left corner of my paper. I don't want to take it all the way off to the side because we actually need to draw a curve line to connect these to create that tail. So, go ahead and do a curve line to connect that to create the tail for our fish. Now, there's still another set of fins that are between the tail and this fin and the tail and this fin. So we're just going to move a little bit further down the back. It's going to start to curve up, curve back towards the tail. We're going to stop before we get to the tail. We have the same thing down here towards the bottom. So it's going to start to come down. This one's going to be a little bit more triangular. That one's a little more like a, a rounded rectangle. We're going to start to curve this line up towards our tail. So for the most part, you should have the body of your fish drawn. You should have the eyeball, the mouth. There's a central fin here. Um, there's a set of top fins, a set of bottom fins, and then the tail. Now. To draw the sea anemone, we'll go ahead and draw that before we get into the actual like details of the fish. Um, sea anemone, so if you look up at pictures of them, they're basically just kind of like long tube-like structures. And what will happen is they usually start about in the same place every time, and then they work their way up. And the way that I have this one drawn, you can see like some parts are in front of the fish, other parts they go behind it, and then they just peek up behind the fish to, towards the top and everything else. You can have some of your seed anemone um, in front of your fish. I don't want it when you draw it to cover up the face of your fish. And I don't want it to cover up your whole fish. We still want to be able to see our fish through all of it. But it's okay if there's at least a couple pieces of that seed anemone kind of poking out in front of your clownfish. So to draw that, like I said, you're going to start about here in the central part, the bottom of your page. And basically you just draw some curved lines. So I'm going to start to take this one up. And I'm going to make this one stop when it gets to my fish. And I'm going to continue it out the front or out the top. So I'm going to imagine this is going to curve up. It's going to start to come up here. And then I'm going to make that into a shape. So I'm going to kind of round off the bottom here. I'm just going to follow that same curve. So when it starts to you know, curve this way, I'm going to take that up. Keep going. I'm going to stop when I get to my fish. Imagine it continues up towards the top. And then round this out up here at the top. Okay, so there's one part of my sea and enemy structure. And then I'm going to start right there. At the beginning of my sea anemone, and I'm just going to add kind of tubes to it. So maybe I want this one to kind of come in front of my fish. So I'm just going to draw it through my fish drawing. 
I'm going to round it up off the top. And I'm just going to continue following that line back through. And then I'm going to round it off here at the bottom. Now, because I drew this one in front of, I want to make sure that I go back in and I erase those parts of my fish that are in my sea and enemy. If you don't do that now, when you go to get the coloring stage done, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between what is your sea and enemy and what is your fish, and then you'll start coloring in the wrong thing. So it's better to do it as you go. So again, to continue making my sea and enemy, because it's usually not just two pieces, it's, it's multiple pieces. I'm going to start down here near the, the bottom again. Again, with those tube-like structures, so just curved lines coming up. This one I'm going to stop when I get to my fish. I'm going to imagine that it goes all the way through. I'm going to peek up out here. I'm going to start to curve it back around. Go back towards the body of my fish again. I'm going to darken that in some. Imagine that it goes back behind my fish. I'm going to peek out about right here. And then just follow that same line, that same structure that you did. And then we're going to curve it off at the bottom. And basically, you just continue to do those until you have all of those tubes. Okay, so right now I've got three sections of that sea anemone. There's one, there's two, and there's three. I mean, for a sea anemone or... You know, you, this one has one, two, three, four, five. So I think about four or five is, is a good amount. Um, anything less than that, it may be hard to kind of see what it's supposed to be that the clownfish is swimming through. So we just continue to add those sea anemone parts, and you can design that however you want, just as long as some of them are in front of the fish, but not all of them. I don't want your fish completely covered up. Now, to go back to kind of help with the coloring and the markings of your fish, okay? Clownfish are typically um, orange with white stripes. And you'll notice there's, you know, one right here by the front of the fin. There's another one here, you know, by the tail. There's a white section here where the tail and the body of the fish connect. And then there's a white section here, the very edge of the tail. So before we go on to the coloring spot or the coloring part of this, you know, it might be good just to go in and kind of lightly draw where those sections should be. So, you know, this one's going to start kind of right around the eye. And you want to make sure that when you're doing these stripes on your fish that you're doing them curved because fish are round and they're not a flat object. So to continue to make them look round, we have to do those stripes as round. There's going to be another stripe here. Again, just two curved lines is enough to make that white stripe on your clownfish. And these are just helpful for when we go to do the collaring part. And then there's a white section here where the tail meets. And where we already had drawn it, where the, the body of the fish meets the tail, that'll just be my other part of that white stripe. I'm fine with that. And then the very edge of the tail is, is white. So I'm going to create that curved line. It kind of follows along the edge of that tail to just remind us when we do that coloring part that, you know, we'll, we'll color that section in. So... If you haven't already stopped the video, go ahead and add some more sea anemone parts so that you get a full sea anemone. And then um, I'll show you how to color them.